been in an accident. Not a minor one. He destroyed it. Destroy. Destroyed my whole RV. It's you see this side's all pushed out. Door is there's an inch and a half gap there. None there. No gap there. <laughs> yeah. You can see up here it's buckled it. Buckled up there. No gap there. Hit here. I just rebuilt all this, y'all know. Destroyed it. I gotta try to catch the window. Luckily, I got tin on it, so maybe I can get it out. And then I gotta seal it up. Yeah, it's destroyed. Everything's busted there. Walls busted. Shoved everything back. Yep. Yep, that's daylight there. You can tell on the door here. Destroyed it. Now what am I gonna do? Um, uh, uh. Okay. Now that I'm a uh, little bit of time has passed, I can kind of show you a little better. Uh, you can tell this side here is down. Every bit of that that I just rebuilt. Five, six months ago, destroyed. Uh, the whole, that, that section right there has been pushed over. Cause you can see the whole, it's bowed out here. This door is flush here. Down here. And we're about two inches out. This door sticking out. Also, now I have a this bowed up here, which in turn bowed down here. So, yeah. <coughs> Over on this side, he did hit the. The wheel here, you hit the, the fender, switch and turn, there's no gap there. Wait for this truck to go by. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this door won't open. You can see how it's the cab up here at the top. It's been up. You see here it's all bent down. All up there. Bent. This is the outside. I believe he had hit here. He pushed my RV back 20 feet. 
and this is the result uh, the glass I had to pull the glass out I went to shut that door and this glass was just about ready to fall out so I had to uh, go ahead and pull it out so it didn't shatter everywhere it's actually sitting there in a bag uh, it's boated over here up top there let me show you on the inside uh, what all it's done on the inside I drove it from the truck stop which I'll show you the truck stops right there to uh, right across the street at a mechanics shop they have an overflow lot I went in and talked to them and explained the situation yeah I can park it here for a few days um, waiting for the insurance adjuster let me take you inside and show you can't really see much in the corner I got my stuff sitting up there but you can see this is all busted here all the way down uh, you can see it's completely busted there the shoved it back here and you can see the gap that's up there uh, here on this door you can see it's high up here as a matter of fact you can see witness marks where this door had hit all the way up there and it's low here and same thing over on this side over here it did the exact same thing on this side So over to this side, this is the driver's side here, uh, I've got a crack there. Uh, this is all bowed out right here, as you can clearly see that now. Uh, you can see how that shifted, and you can see this huge gap here. Uh, the cabinets have got screwed to the wall, are no longer screwed to the wall. Uh, it wiggles now uh, and it's all the way back in here is where it is up here at the top it's separated the cabinets from the top all across there uh, then it kind of stopped a little and then a little spot there here above the bathroom door it's all the way across and then on that back corner there okay back here you can see there's a little bit of gap there and I'll go all the way to this other side and see I've got a, a gap there now and I got a gap here now this is actually you know it's supposed to be touching it's not no more so that and my bathroom door now hits down here doesn't even touch it doesn't open all the way up like it's supposed to everything just got totally tweaked so, so that's the damage uh, of it I've got tarps I'm going to put the tarp on it here in a minute um, result is I'm parked in a truck stop I'm even with all the other trucks I'm in the back of sleep I get woke up to be in slammed into and pushed back 20 feet um, I jumped up I looked out I did not see any of the damage on the wall or by the doors or nothing like that I didn't see any of that damage 
because I was trying to look outside. I looked outside and seen the truck pulling off. So I run to the back, got my shoes on and my pants. I opened the door and that's when I seen the damage outside. Um, the guy had took off. Uh, he went to the far side of the uh, far side of where he was parked at so he tried to act like he, you know he got away I went over there to talk to him and he didn't even want to get out of his truck uh, I was frustrated and that's probably why he didn't want to get out understandable on his part also understandable on my part being pissed like I was because this is my house this is my home this is all I have and now it's destroyed I can't drive it uh, I did drive it from uh, the truck stop over to here and even the steering felt felt different um, I, I believe you know he hit that tire so the alignment I know is probably off uh, the alignment of everything in here is off now so I talked to my insurance company I talked to his company uh, we do have a police report uh, I also have two witnesses uh, I've got their names and numbers as well uh, I'm waiting on my insurance adjuster uh, I know this is gonna be a long drawn-out process but I've got it I can't wait for you know two three four five months for them to figure out you know oh we're gonna pay and replace it or whatever I can't wait that long this is my home I can't live in this I can't sit in one spot like this so I am looking for another RV uh, I've located one that I may be able to get uh, the gentleman's actually going to give it to me a lot cheaper than what he was asking so um, I'm trying to semi semi semis and with no window that's all I hear is semi semi semis and tonight when a lot gets full out here that's all I'm going to hear is semis uh, yeah. what's funny when I got to the truck stop I filled up with $90 in gas and then I parked I haven't used no gas I got a full tank of gas in here so I, I know this is totaled I know they're going to total it there's no doubt in my mind on that so before it goes anywhere I'm pumping that gas out uh, they're not getting you know 40 gallons of gas uh, it's not going to happen uh, nope I will get that gas out of here uh, you know new things that I put on like an AC uh, you know I've got all my solar stuff naturally that will come off all my solar stuff will come out um, my lithium batteries my Vectron charge controller stuff like that all that's going to come out with me uh, my new hot water tank I mean is this going to the boneyard it's going to the boneyard uh, you know I'll give it away to somebody else before I let it go to the boneyard that's how frustrated I am uh, you know I'll, I'll give the hot water tank yeah you know but yeah it's as you can tell it wasn't just a, a slight smack uh, I even noticed I don't know if you can see it here but even right in there you can see where it's bowed that out So it's twisted and turned and everything else. So what's been our home since the hurricane took our other house in Hurricane Michael is no longer going to be my home anymore. It's destroyed as well. And trust me, it really, it hurts. It, it does. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting, I'm frustrated. I, I, I am frustrated. Um, 
you know all the work that I've done to this you know I just put all new shocks on it new stabilizer bars new airbags um, you know stuff like that airbags I'm gonna pull out I'm, they're not going to the boneyard you know uh, if I get another Ford chassis they'll fit on it I think these are good for up and away upper 2000s era for these airbags so I could use them on something else but anyway uh, you know that's what's going on uh, sorry I don't seem as cheerful as I normally am uh, upbeat um, you know I'm not trying to you take the good with the bad you know a lot of people think RV living is all hunky-dory well honestly does this look hunky-dory to you do you think I feel hunky-dory no I feel like dookie I, I really do so huh. you know what can I say uh, but if anybody is willing to kind of help out I'll put a PayPal link down below you don't have to just even in the comments of uh, you know in the comments is good um, you know I appreciate everybody that's been sticking with me but sometimes I wonder if this is the end of my channel is this going to be the end of our prepper Wayne you know if uh, things don't work out like what I want them to it may be so uh, that's the reality of it uh, you know that is the utmost reality right now so I'm gonna be I'll update y'all as much as I can I know I did a live stream some people asked me stuff uh, legally I don't want to say some stuff I don't want to say who the company was and stuff like that because I don't want that kind of uh, uh, backlash toward the company although it could work in my favor <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, I'll post some pictures in here and you can kind of see the damage you know in, in picture form so I'm gonna get the tarp put on uh, generator won't crank up for some reason now I don't know why I don't know if when he smacked it so hard I mean he smacked it hard if it knocked something loose I have to check into that my inverter works you know but you can't run an air conditioner you know constantly on a uh, on my inverter so that being said everybody thank you for watching hopefully this is not the end of our re wow <laughs> look you don't see that bouncing that didn't bounce before <laughs> oh lord almighty I'd even pop my microwave loose <laughs> <laughs> I had I, it was screwed in huh. anyway thank you everybody uh, I'm gonna get this tarp put on I'm gonna sit back with my zero breeze portable air conditioner I'll have a video of that coming up now that I'm sitting here doing nothing I can do that so I'm gonna get tart put on I think what I'm gonna do is uh, grab me some clean clothes I'm gonna go to the truck shop truck stop <laughs> and take a shower over there just kind of walk away from this a little bit uh, get a shower come back I feel a lot better I've been sweating all day I haven't turned no air conditioner on or nothing so too frustrated too frustrated 
Thank you, everybody. Link will be down in the description below. And hopefully with everybody's help and if everything goes okay, this won't be the end of my channel. So, thank you, everybody. Questions, comments, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I will see you all in the next video.